Dear students, in this video lecture, we will be looking at the topic of signal amplification. What is signal amplification? It is defined as a process by which initially received signal intensity is increased or amplified through a network of intracellular reactions. You will try to look at this thing by using one example. That is, here we are going to see how glycogen breakdown is taking place with the help of epinephrine or adrenaline that acts as a signal or ligand molecule. So, elaborate enzyme cascades amplify the cell's response to a signal, that is signal amplification. At each catalytic step in the cascade, the number of activated products can be much greater than in the preceding step. That is, compared to the preceding step, in the subsequent step there will be a greater number of activated products will be formed. For example, we are going to look at the how epinephrine is triggering the breakdown of glycogen. So, for that we can look at the example here in the left hand side. Here you can look at how a epinephrine or adrenaline molecule is acting as a signal or ligand molecule and activating the G protein coupled receptor that have been present there in the surface. So, one molecule of a G protein coupled receptor is getting activated as a result inactive G protein is converted into active G protein which in turn activates the inactive adenyl cyclase into active adenyl cyclase which in turn again activates a lot of cyclic AMP molecule. So, if you look at the explanation here epinephrine triggered pathway in each adenyl cyclase molecule catalyzes the formation of 100 or so cyclic AMP that is the second messengers. Each molecule of the protein kinase A phosphorylate in turn 10 more molecules there in the next kinase pathway. Say for example, the here inactive proteinase, inactive protein kinase A can be converted to active protein kinase which in turn phosphorylates the other kinases there in the pathway. It further activates other kinase. Say for example, inactive phosphorylase kinase is converted into active phosphorylase kinase. You look at the molecule that are getting activated when compared to the initial number of molecules that have been present there. One molecule is now converted into a active phosphorylase kinase of 10 power 5. So, this one is finally activating a important phosphorylase that is the inactive glycogen phosphorylase. The function of this glycogen phosphorylase is degrading the glycogen and converting into glucose 6-phosphate. So, that is the function of that particular enzyme. So, now the inactive glycogen phosphorylase is converted into active glycogen phosphorylase which in turn acts upon the glycogen and converting into glucose 6-phosphate molecule. So, this glucose 6-phosphate molecule is available form of glucose that have been obtained from the stored carbohydrate that is the glycogen. The amplification effect stems from the fact that these proteins persist in their active form long enough to process a multiple molecules of substrate before they become inactive again. As a result, in the signal amplification process, a small number of epinephrine molecules that binds on the receptors present at the cell surface of a liver cell or a muscle cell can able to release 100 or millions of glucose molecule there from the glycogen with the help of glycogen phosphorylase enzyme. 